Hello everyone, this is Hua Xiu from Stanford. Today I will present our paper C mix-up in blue generation in regression. In deep learning, our models then are classified from a training set, mix-up, and interpolation-based data augmentation method replaces the original training set with the mixed set. Here we pick two examples, x i y, x j y j, and interpolate them to generate the mixed example. Mixup provides a reasonable and effective way in classification. However, it sometimes fails in regression. While mixup may fail in regression, we claim that directly applying mixup in regression may produce arbitrary labels. In the object post regression data set, we randomly pick two mixing pairs, mixing pair one and two. In mixing pair one, we mix examples with label 150 and 171, and get the mixed one with label 160.5. In mixing pair two, we produce examples with label 248 by mixing examples with label 150 again and 346. Obviously, mixing like pair one generates reasonable mixed example, while pair two produces arbitrary label. So, in the paper, we instead mixing similar examples. Spe specifically, we change the sampling probability of mixing pairs. Given an example x i y i, the probability of sampling another example x j y i j for mixing is proportional to the distance between example i and j. A natural way is to compute the distance using the input feature x. However, it has two major drawbacks. First, it lacks good distance matrix to capture structured feature information for high dimensional data like images or time series. Second, the distance between the features can be easily influenced by the feature noises. In C mixup, we instead assign higher probability to examples with closer labels. It means dij equal to dyyj. Let's recap the post regression task here compared to the Valina mixup and feature based distance metric. C mixup can produce much more reasonable pairs, whereas the sampling probability of pair Y is much higher than the other two pairs. Basically, there are two benefits of C mixup. First, CMixup benefits both in distribution and auto distribution generation in regression. Second, calculating label distance is computationally efficient compared with other distance metrics. In terms of the ba first benefit, on the linear and the monotonic nonlinear model, our theory demonstrates that CMixup achieves less mean square error compared to EIM and using feature distance in both in distribution generation, auto distribution, and auto distribution generation. Please refer to our paper for detailed theoretical analysis. Empirically, CMixup outperforms EIM and is the best mixup variance in tabular, time series, and video datasets. We further evaluate the performance on auto distribution robustness. Here, we specifically investigate subpopulation shift and domain shift. In subpopulation shift, we create a new RCF MNIS dataset built upon the original facing MNIS dataset. Here, the angle of rotation for each object sparsely correlates with the labels. In domain shifts, we aim to generalize the model to new domains. For example, in the party map data set, we aim to generalize the model to new countries. Similarly, C mixup improves the performance of auto distribution generation on image data, tabular data, and drug data. Finally, we conduct a few quantitative analysis. First, we compare the performance on the different distance metrics. We show the results in DTI here, and please refer to our paper for results on more data sets. We can see that use, using label distance in CMixup outperforms using feature distance and representation distance. Second, we consider the scalability of CMixup in billion level data set. Uh, here, we propose an alternative variant of CMixup called batchwise CMixup, where we only apply CMixup on every large data batch. According to the results, CMixup batch and CMixup performance very similar. 
indicating that CMAKESAP can be applied to large scale data set without losing performance. The key takeaways of this paper are, we've proposed a simple strategy for data interpretation in regression and mixing examples with closer continuous labels avoid producing arbitrary mixed labels. Code has, be already, uh, code has already been released. Thanks for listening.